Good day to you, my beautiful pupils. How are you today? I believe you are all doing fine. Today we want to have a discussion on a topic in civic education. But before we move into today's topic, let's remind ourselves of what we learned the last time. The last time I was here, we discussed the topic on civic education, which is qualities of good community leader. Okay, what are the things expected of a good community leader? A good community leader must be humble. He or she must be honest. He must not be proud. He must be patient. Okay? He must be courageous. He must not be timid. He must be someone that everybody will cooperate with. So these are some of the qualities of good community leaders that we discussed the last time. So today we want to take up on another topic. And our topic for today, our topic for today is rules and regulations at home. Rules and regulations at home. From this topic, what are we to take home? What is our learning objective on this topic? We should be able to define rules and regulations at home. And we should be able to mention things we should do and things we should not do at home. Okay? At the end of this class, we should be able to say things that we should do at home and things we must avoid at home. Is that clear? Good. Now, let's start. What? Our rules and regulations at home. These are the things we should do and things we should not do at home. Remember, our topic is what? Rules and regulations at home. So rules and regulations at home are the things we should do and what we should not do at home. Okay? What are the things that we should do? What are the things we should do? Obey your parents and elders. We should be obedient to our parents, okay? Look at this picture. Can you see? We have the father, the mother, their baby, and a boy. The father is telling the boy, warning the boy, I've told you not to do this. Don't be disobedient. Okay, it's good to be obedient. You obey your parents. You listen to your parents. Whatever they tell, they tell you to do, you do it. Whatever they ask you not to do, you do not. You don't do it. Is that clear? Can you see the man here? The man here is talking to his son, giving him some instructions, and the boy is listening, trying to get what the father is saying. As the man is smiling, the, the boy too is smiling. Okay? And the boy is ready to obey his father. So we must be obedient to our parents. Okay? And you see, there's another picture of another man with his son. My son, listen to me. Whatever I ask you to do, please try and do it. What I ask you not to do, please don't do it. He's trying to give his son instruction. And the boy, is willing and ready to obey, okay? So, one of the rules at home is we must be obedient. We must be what? Obedient. Do not disobey. What did I say? Do not disobey. Since we are obedient, we should not disobey our parents. Is that clear? Good. Whatever they ask us to do, we should do it. Can you see the girl here? Can you see the girl? The mother is talking, her mother is talking to her, but she's not ready to listen. She's covering her, her ears so that the, the, she wouldn't listen to whatever the mother is telling her. Is this good? No, it is not. If you are doing this, please, you have to stop it. Don't do this to your mother. Don't do it to your father. When your daddy is talking to you, you listen to your daddy. You 
you don't do like this. You don't block your fears. As if you, are, you, don't, you don't care about whatever they're saying. No, this is wrong. Okay? We must listen to our parents. We must do what? Listen and obey our parents. Is that clear? Look at another parent, another mother here with a, with a daughter. The mother is trying to talk to the girl. But the girl is not even ready to listen. She's blocking her ears, blocking her eyes. I don't want to hear mommy. Is this good? No, it is not. It is a bad habit. It is something we must not do. We shouldn't be disobedient to our parents, but rather we should obey our parents. We should do what? Obey our parents. When we obey our parents, they, they will be happy. Even you yourself, you will be happy. Now what else do we need to do? We must run errands for our parents and elderly people. You help them to do things, okay? You help them with chores at home. Can you see the girl and her mother? They are in the kitchen. She's helping out. She's helping her mother. Do you help your mom at home? Do you help your mom in the kitchen? Yes, it is good to help your mom at home. You help in, in do, doing things for your parents, your mother, for your father at home. Okay? Look at this picture. This is another picture of a mother and a child. They are coming from the mall, from the shopping mall to get things. Yes. You help your parents. Can you see this man? Is this man a young man here? No. He's an old man. And the girl, maybe a child, his child or his grandchild, help out in buying things for him. Okay? She helped out in getting things for the man. It is good to help. You help the elderly ones. You assist them in doing things, okay? You, you shop for them. You buy, you run errands for them. And you see another picture here. There's another old man with, with his daughter. She helped out to get things for her father. It is good to help, okay? You help, you run errands for your parents at home. Can you see another picture here? A young lady helping out to buy things for her father. Can you see? Do you help your parents at home? Do you help them to buy things? Do you help them to clean the house? Please try and do so, okay? When you do that, your mom, your dad, they will be happy. Even you yourself, you will be happy doing it. And you see the lady here smiling? Yes, as she's helping out, she's smiling. She's happy that she's able to help. Yes, you buy things for your parents. You help them to buy things, okay? Then what are other things, what are some other things that we must not do? Do not play with sharp objects. Yes. It is part of the things we must not do. Rules and regulations at home. Do not play with sharp objects. Can you see the girl trying to pick knife? No. At your age, you're not supposed to handle knife. Okay? You're not supposed to handle any sharp objects. So don't touch any sharp objects. If you need to cut anything, you go to your mom, you ask your dad, or somebody that is older than you to help you in doing in using the sharp object. Is that clear? Can you see? These another these are another sharp object at home. Broken bottle, scissors, knife, blade, fork, pin, different things that children must not play with at home. You must not touch these things. Is that taking? Then what other things? Do not fight with anybody. Can you see the boys here? What are they doing? Fighting, pulling their ears. This is very, very wrong. If you are fond of fighting, you need to stop it. It is not good to fight. Don't fight with your brother at home. Don't fight with your sister at home. Don't fight with your friends. Don't fight with your neighbor. Don't fight with anybody, okay? It is not good to fight. Do not fight with anybody. Look at this. 
The boy is, one boy is lying on the floor, another boy wants to punch him. If he should punch him, and the one lying on the floor should pass out. That would be a very bad experience. So you should not fight, okay? As children, you must not fight. You must not do what? Fight. Look at the two boys there fighting. And the ones, the three, the, the, the ones standing here, they, they were hailing him. This is wrong. You don't do this. It is very, very wrong. Children are to play together. They are not to fight. Okay? So always remember that Madam said, do not fight. Is that clear? Beautiful. Do not fight with your friends, with your neighbors, with your brother or your sister. Do not fight. But you should do what? Play together. You play with your friends. Can you see these two boys? They are friends. They are holding themselves and happy with a smile. Are they like the swans? No, they are not fighting. But what? They are playing together. So children are expected to play together. We are not expected to be fighting. Fighting is not good. But you play together. Can you see these children here? They are playing, they are, they are happy together. They are smiling. Okay, when you're with your friends, you play with your friends, you smile, you play together. You do not fight. Always have that in your mind that you should not fight with your friends. But rather, you play, with, you play together, you read together, you sing together. You can have a new song that you want to sing. You want to teach your friends. You teach your friends songs. You sing together. You play with, you, you, you read with your brother. You read with your sister at home. Okay? Always read. Is that clear? You read with your friends. You read with your sisters or your brothers at home. But do not fight. It is not good to fight. Keep your environment clean. Yes. It is the duty of you and I to keep our environment clean, okay? It's not only mommy that should be picking the dirt on the floor. No, it's not only your dad that should pick something that is not supposed to be on the floor. No, even you as a child, you have to do your own duty to keep your environment clean. You have to do what? You, clean, you make sure that your environment is clean. Okay, can you see these boys? Yes, they are packing dead. They want to go and trash it. Okay, so we must keep our environment clean. Okay, look at this picture. It is the duty of everybody to make sure that everywhere is clean. Can you see? Can you see the, the mother there with the daughter and the elder ones? They are there. Cleaning the environment, okay? To make sure that the environment is clean. So these are some of the things we must do at home. Can you see them here? It's the duty of everybody to maintain clean environment. Everybody is picking the dirt from the floor. And they are putting it in a nylon so that they will be able to trash everything, okay? Always keep your environment clean. Is that clear? Can you see here too? Can you see? Everybody is at work. Everybody is at work. They are cleaning the environment so that everywhere will be clean. Can you see here too? Yes. So children, you have learned something today. And what are these things? Rules and regulations at home. What are these rules and regulations? You must obey your parents, yes. You must not be disobedient. You must do what? Be obedient to your parents. Like we have in the picture here. Yes, you must be obedient to your parents. You listen to your parents, is that clear? And you must not be disobedient. You mustn't be like this girl, okay? But rather, you should be like this boy that is listening to, uh, to his dad. Is that where 
always try and be obedient. An obedient child is you forever be loved by us. He's our parent. If you are obedient, your mom and your dad will love you. You will be their favorite. You, will you be obedient to your parents? Are you promising me now that you all, you all will be obedient to your parents at home? Yes, you have to do that. Then you help out. You help your parents in running errands, okay? You do the things for them. You help them in the kitchen. You help them to clean the, the parlor. You help them to buy things. You run errands for them. You assist them in what they are doing, okay? Then, as a child, you shouldn't play with sharp objects. Do not play with sharp objects. Then I told you that children must not fight. Do not fight. It is not good. If you fight, anything can happen. You can get injured, which is not good, okay? I don't like children fighting. It is not good. Do not fight with anybody. Anybody. I repeat myself. Do not fight with anybody. But you must play together. You play with your friends. You read together. You sing together. You learn things together. And also, you clean your environment. Make sure your environment is clean. Okay? And I told you that it is the duty of everybody to make sure that the environment is clean, as we can see here. Is that clear? Beautiful. This is how we are going to draw the curtain for today's class. And I believe we have learned something today. So please, always remember to obey your rules and regulations at school. Don't forget. These are the things you must do at home. Okay? I'll see you next time. But before I go, please play, but do not play rough. Okay? Play, but do not play rough. If you play rough, you might injure yourself. And I don't want you to injure yourself. That is why I always tell you, do not play rough. And read your books. Don't just play. Also, read your books. Since that play, I will see you next time. Bye-bye. I love you.